a rock is just a rock, right? Well, in the hands of a guy named Johnny Padgett, it can be a canvas for an inspirational message. That's what Rob Wiles discovered when he met up with the Middle Tennessee artist who just has the thing for rocks. I'm Johnny Padgett, and I'm not in the rock business. You would think I should be because I've got rocks in my head, but uh, I know it. I know it. Johnny is only kidding, you know, but rocks are on his mind a lot of the time, like tonight as he visits the Morning Point Assisted Living Center in Brentwood. His mission includes rocks, of course. You want to do it? I can't see well enough okay. to spoil it. All right. That's, that's why I haven't done any of this myself, really. OK, let's draw across. Very <laughs> similar. That's nice, that's very nice. Let it dry, okay? Helping the residents here is a new experience for him. It makes them feel like they're accomplishing something while they want to keep it, of course. Yeah. What does it do for you to go over there? It tickled me to death to see the smile on their faces and the fact that they were enjoying it. He's seen that look a lot, thousands of times, creating art out of something that really began as a way of collecting souvenirs. We'd go on trips and I would uh, take uh, rocks from wherever I went. I've been all over the world and I would bring a rock back and I would draw on that rock where I had been, like uh, the Great Wall of China or wherever. I would write that on there. That's kind of what, uh, what got me started doing that. Now Johnny is a successful businessman in Nashville. He owns Modern Marine, and a combination of his work and his strong Christian faith changed Johnny's idea about rocks. You obviously like hanging out with fishermen and boat owners. And Jesus did that too. That's right. Hung out with, on the water with boaters and fishermen and stuff. And you know, place for in that. 2010, which is what got my rock thing going, yeah. I went to the Sea of Galilee. Oh, did you? And my wife and I and some friends could ride across the Sea of Galilee. And we did, in a chaparral boat, one just like that over there. Uh -huh. And we stopped out in the middle. I walked back to the back with my wife, and I said, let's try it. So I tried to walk on the water, and it did not work. <laughs> I do not have that much faith. I'm sure your wife could have told you, this is not going to work for you. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it was when Johnny came back from a trip to Israel, bringing rocks to his friends, that the idea to draw and paint on them came to him, to mark occasions, joyous and sorrowful. If I can bring joy to that person, then I feel like I've accomplished something. And you can see it on their face. And they keep them, they don't throw them away. They keep them. Flowers, if you give flowers at a funeral, they drop, they fade away. They keep the rock. If I can touch someone by saying uh, the right thing or by leaving a message about Jesus or whatever it might be, then I've done some good to that person. And I, I, I just feel like they get something out of it, and I know I do. Johnny has painted rocks for funerals, weddings, even Vacation Bible School. I got involved in Vacation Bible School, and I did uh, four or 500 rocks each time they had that since 2010. And the kids seemed to like them, and I made them different. I made them all something they would cherish when they'd go to uh, take it, put it in their room. Since 2010, Johnny estimates he's painted more than 5,000 rocks. Every rock is just like an individual. All rocks are different. <laughs> uh, there is no question. I've never seen any two rocks look alike. <laughs> I can come in and look at uh, about 10 rocks and one will just jump out at me. That's the one I need for that person. Again, they're like people, they're all different. But I guess that's the fun of doing it because each one is a challenge. It's, it's different. Every rock found, cleaned, prepared, and decorated, all at no cost, of course, because Johnny Paget sees these rocks as part of his service, a ministry, really. I have no doubt that anyone who has artistic ability at all could do what I do. 
Uh, what is the pivotal point is that desire to create something that demonstrates love to those around you by taking the time to pick up the rocks, to clean them, to do it. It's a little process, but it's a fun process. And after I've worked all day at the store, coming home doing this, it's fun. And most of all, uh, thinking of things meaningful to each person that I'm doing them for, whether it be for happy times or for sad times. To make that person feel better for what they've received from my heart, not just from my hands. But I never thought of myself as an artist. I just like to draw. Works of art, works from the heart, works meant to permanently remind and comfort those who receive them. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you.